Life is hard. That's why I wrote it easy way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote it easy way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote it easy way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote it easy way. Everybody stand up for easy working hard in Hollywood. Hey, you're watching The Easy Show. I'm your man, Eric Easy Zuli, and we have a special guest today. He was in Hocus Pocus, Panza Labyrinth. He was a Silver Surfer in Fantastic Four, the Blue Sapien Fish Guy in Hellboy, and I'm proud to say he's a really good friend of mine. Let's welcome Doug Jones. I want to introduce our special host, Miss Erica. How are you doing? Hey, Eric. How are you? Good Thank to you. see you. Thank, Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm super excited to be here today. Thank you for being on the show. And Thank you are very beautiful. And I know <laughs> all the guests want to probably watch you more than me. Thank but. you. Thank you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but um, I know you guys would love to, to watch Erica. And, and, you know, we can forget about the guests. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> we have a really special guest. You guys will recognize him from Panza Labyrinth, Hellboy. Hey, even Fantastic Four. He was the Silver Surfer. So cool. I'm, I, I'm so I'm, cool. Very he's been a good friend of mine for probably well over four or five years, six. I don't know. I lost track of count. And uh, without further ado, let me introduce my special guest, Doug. Doug Jones. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, man? Thank you for thank you for for coming on. Thank you for having me. This hey. is so you are in the official I'm, easy realm. How's I, it going? Talk about a thorn between two roses, right? <laughs> oh, come know, your God. specialty. <laughs> So you're on the Easy Show, and I, I, am, I, I call I this am. the I Easy Show. I saw Rome the banner. I'm, 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 yes, I'm right here. This is exciting. <laughs> I know. So obviously, we want to know where you know where you're from, how you got started. Like, get to, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm a Midwestern boy, obviously, <laughs> and uh, and uh, I came out here in 1985. Oh, you were even born yet? <gasps> yes, actually. No, you weren't. Were I you? Was. Were you? Yes. Oh. I yes. Was actually, way born before. In, uh, 80, 82. Okay. Actually, no, I'm showing my age. So no, 85. Yeah. I think okay. that's till well, 90. Okay. Well, I, I started. Or I started in 1986. Was my first acting credit, though. I was 26 years old when I got my first commercial for Southwest Airlines as a dancing mummy. <laughs> that was boating of things to come, I think. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but I can't. I started as a mime back in Indiana. Go figure. You uh, did a mummy, and you're a mummy on a movie called Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Well, uh, zombie. We'll go. <laughs> zombie, oh, you're zombie, zombie, mummy. Zombies okay. and mummies are a little different. different. I, I don't know. Big. I think so. You right? know, somebody's yeah. like, and the other one's like. Yeah. Know, there, there's people out there that I'm sure know the difference and can, would be writing in. Um, Probably. <laughs> I also am a contortionist. I can put my legs behind my head. and That comes in handy in certain situations. Please don't do that on my show. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Uh, professional and miming. personal. Your legs right there. Ah, waka, waka. Wait, but, how does one get into the miming? I mean, how does this happen? Like, were you like class clown in high school kind of and you were I always was. getting in trouble? Okay, so now they can see you now. And, and then when I was in college, um, I was kind of like talking. Yeah, I always talk with my hands and I have big facial expressions and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and the guy who ran the mime troupe on my campus at Ball State University. His name was Reed Steele. And Reed uh, uh, was watching me from afar and came up to me and said, you know, you'd make a great mime. I'm like, what's a mime? <laughs> and he said, uh, he said that. <laughs> right. uh, you know, he, so he invited me to one of their shows and the, the troupe was called Mime Over Matter. Get it? I like that name. That's, yeah, that's amazing. Somebody was really, very really clever. thinking yeah. of that one. Yeah. I know, I know. So, Can you mime it and not tell us? Well, that would be a very boring show for your, <laughs> for your watchers here. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen how skilled you are. If you could actually, nah, you yeah. can't be like a shrek. So is it yeah. hard when you, you know? Because obviously, like I like to talk, and Eric likes to talk. Yes. You know, and you as well. If I were in the entertainment industry, so is it harder to kind of sit back and just? Are you dying to just say something? Well, you you say it with your body and with your face, and with, you say it visually instead of audibly. So that's that's okay. the only difference. And that that no. skill uh, was really I had no idea that that was preparing me for the career that I've ended up with. You know, I had no idea that that I would be that that being creatures and wearing lots of rubber makeups and being otherworldly beings uh, in film. I didn't really know that was an option. You know, I, uh, that one could pursue. Right. That and must I, be the hottest thing in the world to have all that rubber. <laughs> well, of course it is. Yeah, you're and, layered and, in, in latex. How long from, do you wear that? Wear those, those oh, suits? Because yeah. you did the the blue sapien fish guy yeah. in, on Hellboy. I was, I was Abe Sapien, the blue fish guy. Right. You did the Billy yeah. on, on Billy, Hocus Billy Pocus. Billy Butcherson and right. Hocus Pocus. Was there I one show him. where you were actually two characters? Uh, that would be Pan's Labyrinth. Okay, I, was, right. I was the El Fauno, right. and I was also the Pale Man, this guy. So, right? how was that set? Was that crazy? Because, like, okay, this costume, go film. You're like, uh, and then well, no, an hour not, later, not you're that in fast. This makeup. No, not an hour later. No. <laughs> they, they used to take five hours to apply. Oh, so, when it, was, when it was a Pale Man day, it was that was his Got day. And when what it was, was the ice cream thing? I remember when we did our interview before, you said the ice cream man. man. That was in Legion. That was in Legion. Legion. And that was a very light oh, makeup yeah. for me because I was just I showed up looking like this with a, with a little uniform and a hat and a truck. and boom. But I morphed into this. Doug actually yeah, got to right. kind of play Doug. I did, I did, I did, I did. Well, that's that's why that's uh, the director Scott Stewart wanted to to show off uh, this. 
it's not really something you can show off. He oh, wanted he wanted to expose well. it. I guess you. is more more the word I was looking for. Lucky to be sitting. I know, right? Because I'm so pretty, aren't pretty. I? Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're my best friend forever. Ever, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is just amazing. Now, do you know who you remind me of? Uh oh, uh oh. He gets this here goes, time. here goes. What? I think I know who you're thinking. Okay. Go ahead. Jim Carrey. Yes. Jim Carrey. Doesn't he remind you of Jim Carrey, guys? Okay. Not, like, and we, we look nothing alike, but we act a lot. The same like personality, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, I was on three episodes of In Living Color. Remember that show? Oh, yeah. In Living Back Color. Color. Yep, because we what were you all born, born, I, right? I, I was not a fly girl, by the way. <laughs> uh, no, I was in, uh, I did a Homie the Clown sketch with Damon Wayans, and I did two episodes with Jim Carrey. One was his Vera de Milo character that was the East German woman that was a bodybuilder. And, ugh, hilarious. And the other one was uh, was his a character he had called Background Guy where he would uh, he would be in the <laughs> background of, in, of interviews and stuff like kind of going uh, yeah. while something was going on in the foreground. And I was a Sasquatch chasing him around in the back. <laughs> we, we had great fun together. Sasquatch. And yeah, no, he's, he's uh, but I, 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 he is somebody who gave broad and big and over the top comedy uh you know a, a more modern right. appeal because yeah, that was absolutely. that was big back in the back in the black and white era with you know your abbott and costello and your uh you know laurel and hardy and all that and uh and he was somebody who brought it back to modern day which i was really happy to see because like that's uh, that's a kind of comedy that i right, like of yeah course. so and you're you're a really versatile actor and and you do a lot of a lot of different types of scenes i know you also yeah. did uh, uh retired policeman on, on retired all over youtube all over oh, youtube that's a great yeah. youtube <laughs> website if anybody if you're Please on the reenact that one if you're on the youtube do a search for retarded policeman mime that's my episode <laughs> because i played a mime in that episode mm -hmm. oh, and uh yeah. i know they know retired policeman who doesn't know yeah, yeah, no, that has hilarious. like a million and views and tens like of week. millions of hits. Tens yeah. of millions. Yeah, so he really the is Man Perry. like right. that. He has Down syndrome, mm -hmm. and and he is the most lovable, intelligent young man mm -hmm. I've ever known. He's oh, amazing. So He's truly amazing. I want to see some pop. Like, can you give me moves? Oh, like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, oh, I think I saw something. You were doing the, the robot. Wave. You were doing the robot yeah. in one of your things. I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, do yeah, some. I do some. Try to sneak that one in there. Why not? I played a couple robots on films. I was I was the robot butler in Benchwarmers with John Lovitz playing. He was my my boss. Uh, I, I was his butler, and as a robot. Bench warmers. What was my name? My name was Number Seven. <laughs> and number seven. Lunch is on the way, Mr. Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> and I came rolling in with a full-on mechanical thing on. I also played gay robot on Nick Swart. <laughs> I actually saw Nick that. Nick Swartz's yeah, Pretend Time on Comedy Central. <laughs> and I was a series regular for the first season as gay robot. Mm. Yeah, but hilarious character that he created himself. So anyway, there you go. So you're the you're the youngest of four brothers. Do you think that yes. influenced like your your whole like comedic you know standpoint oh, of yeah. just growing it's up? A, is it we being picked on? Like, survival. Yes, yeah. yeah, survival yeah. makes you funny. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it does. Yeah. Well, that and also. Being a tall, skinny, goofy guy, which I know you cannot relate to, um, you should hear his voicemails. Hi, you reached a tall, skinny, goofy, goofy guy. guy. <laughs> hey, you use it to your advantage. You know, use what works. You got to do it. Um, when you, uh, when you, when you, when you're not normal in Indiana and mm -hmm. you're a kid growing up, uh, it, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're someone that, that can be made fun of easily. And kids are cruel, and so uh, survival is: I will, I will be goofy and do armpit farts and blah, blah, before they can laugh at this, I'll make, I'll give them something to laugh at. So that's yeah. kind of like I think how class clowns are born. Right. And then at home, of course, being the youngest of four boys, my three older brothers would just pound on me, and and they they were psychological though. They would get into your psyche and toy with you. You know what I mean? Because they're all smart guys and. Right. Oh, yeah, so we're better now that we're right. adults. We're so all friends. It's kind of like who's laughing now. You're like, ha, 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 look at me. Make fun of me all you want. It's made me tons of money. That is the worst reason to try to get famous, by the way, is to show people back home. That is the worst idea. <laughs> and speaking about trying to get famous, that's something I want to ask. I don't know how much time we have left. Um, we have a little bit of time, but I, I want to ask this question. I know there's a lot of actors and people that are watching someone of your stature and the experience you've had. Mm -hmm. When you're preparing for a comedy role, because you've done comedy, when mm -hmm. you're preparing for action, or, you know, I mean, you've done so many different roles. Do you have any suggestions on preparing yourself before that role, like getting yourself in that psyche? You know? um, well, when it comes to comedy specifically, mm -hmm. preparing for, um, uh, it, it is it is lighten up. Lighten up. The world does not rest on this performance this day. It's like, you know what I mean? Just have fun. Have fun. Enjoy the people you're playing off of. Right. That's really key. Because if you go in there too concentrated and too focused, it, you, you might you might lose the yeah. lose the beats and lose the moment. Okay, uh, and you got Neighborhood Watch coming up. I want to talk a little bit coming. about talk, that. Speaking of funny, uh, Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, and Richard Iowata, uh, the four of them have formed a Neighborhood Crime Watch in this movie, <laughs> and there's no crime Amazing. in their neighborhood, so they get together, they play pool, they right. fart, tell fart jokes, they drink beer. Oh, I can't wait. And until the alien invasion. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Uh, so I'm the lead alien bad guy of Neighborhood Watch. It comes, uh, it'll come out uh, in theaters everywhere July 27th, so be looking for that. Oh. And I, you will not recognize my face. I'm in a completely amazing costume created by Legacy Effects. That'll be fun. And also, I still have my book out there, too. Mime very own book. Speaking of all this mime. I saw, amazing. Did you see I it? I saw it. I'm, like, oh, blown away. I really, like, it's on Amazon. Go check it out. I'm going to get it. Thank I you. I go to sleep yeah. for it every night. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I was really impressed. I'm like, oh, my God, this is so cool. It's a photo coffee table yeah. book that, that takes me back to my roots as a mime, and we're doing puns galore. That's why the name is called uh, Mime yeah. Very Own mm -hmm. Book. Uh, and things like uh, uh, photo depictions of mime is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, 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 mime over Isn't matter. That, did you come Once up with these mime. names? Because they were so clever. We collaborated. Okay. Uh, Scott Allen Perry, uh, Adam Mock, and uh, Eric Curtis, our photographer, we all collaborated to uh, do the ideas and set up the shots. And, and we did all this book in three days. It was wow. amazing. All the wigs and, and costume changes and everything right, were lined right. up. And we make fun of uh, movie stars and you know what movie you need posters. And, I don't mean to interrupt you. Okay, come on, hit me. You know what you need to mind? This is how it's it happened. Twitter, your Facebook, how everybody can get a, oh, get a hold of you. Oh, I should mind that? Yeah. How do you mime a Twitter you handle? I don't know. You have to be creative. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> at actor Doug Jones. How's that? <laughs> actor Doug Jones. All right, guys. Thanks you so much for being a guest on the show, Doug. I really appreciate me. you coming out. On you, sweetie pie. You guys got to definitely give a round of applause for our lovely Thank you. She goes to watching the easy show, Walk the Talk, and De Doug is definitely walking the talk, and well. you're doing it the easy way. You're in the easy realm. How's it feel? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, all, easy. it's always good when you're doing it the easy way. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for yeah. tuning in with us. We'll see you Bye. later. Life is hard. That's my how we roll the easy way. Life is hard. That's my how we roll the easy way. Life is hard. That's my how we roll the easy way. Life is hard. That's my how we roll the easy way.